Unfortunately, later on in years, she was diagnosed with leukemia. Um, she heard this legend, if you fold a thousand paper cranes, your wish will come true. And there are two different versions, but the one that's most well known is she did manage to fold a thousand paper cranes, but changed her wish from wanting to survive to world peace. Um, unfortunately, she did pass away, and to commemorate her, um, a statue was erected in her honor at the uh, Children's Peace Memorial, um, and it signifies the innocence of people uh, affected by nuclear war warfare. Um, a little more on modern origami. Uh, it's being used right now for rehabilitation of m the elderly, mm -hmm. so they have something that can help with their arthritis so they can make paper instead of just moving their hands, they're actually creating something. Uh, it's very popular among children. Uh, many kids know how to do this at a very, very early age, and they oftentimes make little origami school notes for each other. Uh, it can be used as Christmas tree ornaments because, you know, it's cool. Um, Oshigori is the folding of a towel of some sort, like so we'll mm -hmm. over here. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, 3D printing. So they've started making images and putting it into 3D to create the origami mm -hmm. with the technology of 3D printers. And oftentimes cardboard boxes that are made in Japan are made in a way that it's all folded into one. So like for example these wine bottles, that cardboard could uh, wasn't multiple pieces, it's all just one mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 